I look good going through that. The ones. Oh, cool! It's a super. Actually, I'm the key maker. Don't worry. You'll be inside in just a moment. Awesome! Thanks. What's happening, hot stuffs? You. And uh, welcome to Game of Vision. It's a. It's a. Uh... Game of Vision retrospective, we're almost at the end of 2021. Tomorrow for me is New Year's Eve. I know it's late for a lot of people. I know it's late, way later than I intended. But, uh, you know, I had to do what, I had to deal with stuff in, in, in real life that was important. So I went and did that. And I'm going to unveil some, I got an Xbox Series S for, uh, that I bought myself for Christmas. And uh, I figure I'm going to show off the emulation capabilities. So hello to everyone who is in here. How are you doing? Thank I'm sorry the stream is a, a lot later than it usually is. I appreciate the people who have come in. Likes and shares are appreciated. And uh, if you're new here, feel free to hit that follow button. And I can see my own uh, speech. So, uh... Yes, this is a Series S, con S controller. I've got RetroArch installed on my S, so we're gonna we're gonna play some retro. We're gonna test the emulation. This is an emulation beast, pretty much. This this is like the best emulation machine that money can buy. So let's go to NES and we're gonna have a crack at this. And it comes. When I first put RetroArch on here, I pretty much updated all the cores and everything else like what is a part of RetroArch, like the cores, the audio, the the audio drivers, etc., etc. And I can run pretty much nearly anything on this. It's fucking amazing. So uh, let's. 
So this is the first time I've, I've actually played this since I installed It's like the first or second time I've played this particular hack since I installed You know what? I'm gonna have to uh... I'm gonna have to reload that Because that particular nest core does not play the music So we're just gonna go with this So how is the game to uh, voice audio? Is it balanced? Because I think I may need to turn it up on my end because I can barely hear it, so... Just give me a second. There we go. Should be better. Looks good to you, Megan. How does it sound? I made, I pretty much put the screen together within the span of like, well, um, this is like a tease of the new overlay set that I'm putting together for Xbox games in the future from when I stream all the Gears of War games. And I'm also going to be doing a lot more, I'm going to be doing a lot of my retro stuff on RetroWatch on the Xbox. Because uh, when I used to do it with my SNES Classic Mini on my old channel, some of the game's audio would lag and not and not sync properly. But I've tried some of those some of those games that wouldn't work properly on my SNES Classic. I tried on here like multiple times through multiple uh, emulation cores, and it's pretty it's pretty seamless. Sounds good too. Thank you. And uh, next year I plan on streaming the Gears franchise one to five. I'm not going to do Gears of War Judgment, because Gears of War Judgment, that's not Gears of War in my opinion. I know it's a backstory and everything, but to me it's, it didn't really encapsulate what a true Gears game is, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm going to be showcasing some unique hacks that can only be seen on my channel, on Facebook. Or on YouTube after I upload the vlog. That must be a checkpoint. Because I had a bit of feedback from a friend of mine who watched, who actually watched one of my streams uh, recently. They said you don't have to go so close to the microphone. People can hear you fine. There's no, you don't have to be so close because if you're too close, it'll be too loud. That's what they said to me. And I took that feedback on board. And uh, as Megan says, it sounds good. Check my. Man, I'm so looking forward to uh, New Year. I can't can stress that enough. Like, I. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh my god. This is gonna be bad. Hey Patton, how you going man? Welcome to the Gamer Vision Retrospective and I suck at this game. How you doing dude? And uh, this is a this is a bit of a this is a new overlay I've started working on because um, now I have an Xbox Series S and I plan on streaming Gears of War. Hey Ben Patton, how, how was your Christmas, dude? Better sick wife, sick two-year-old, sick 
sick 16 year old home and now I'm getting whatever they had. Oh my god, that's unfortunate, dude. That's nuts. on YouTube, I saw, saw, saw a video of someone playing this, I'm like, this game looks cool, it has Metroid, has Metroid vibes written all over it. It was okay, was able to see your side of the family before start getting sick. Well, it's good you got to, you got to see your family again, dude. Sucks that you got sick, though. How you doing, dude? How was my Christmas? My Christmas wasn't too bad, buddy. I, I streamed for like four to five hours on Christmas Day, and uh, you know, just hung out, hung out with the audience, had some fun, had some laughs, had a few bourbons, and just chilled, man. Christmas is a bit of a lonely uh, affair in my house, but you know, with uh, with my uh, audience, man, I'm never alone. I haven't seen anyone but my parents on my side for two years. Wow, dude, that's nuts. Well, it's good you got to see them. It's good you got to see them and catch up with them. Wish the post office would deliver your damn package already. I know, vegan. I mean, I'm I'm surprised that hasn't shown up yet. But rest assured, Megan, that package is going to be open live on stream. I'm actually looking forward to them Slim Jims, I can tell you that. I'm looking forward to my Matrix Builder Bear. I can't wait to get my uh, Builder Bear, man. Oh, God damn it. You know, I'm looking forward to them Slim Jims. I'm gonna have to play this and get get some practice in on this one because uh, this this is cool. I like the whole Metroid esque feel with uh, get like areas and get like going through the area, finding the keys, etc. There's like multiple paths that you can take. This is like there. Oh my god. I've got some really cool uh, Mario uh, hacks on here too that I, that I found. Not many people would know about the particular ones I have that I recently acquired. Like a version of Super Mario Ball Stars on the NES. Which, which is cool, it's like all four. It's like Mario Brothers 1, 2, 3 and Lost Levels all on one NES game. Which is, which is pretty sweet. And I've got some awesome uh, Mario World hacks that I don't think many people have seen. I'm just gotta try and get some practice in somewhere to, before I uh, uh, showcase them. And there is one particular mess ROM that I've got on here where you, you have infinite lives, but you go through the entire game. And it keeps a uh, tally of your uh, attempts, of how many attempts att you, that you've had. So it'll be interesting to see how many attempts I can, like, I will, it will take me to finish the entire game, run through once, and then go for a PB. Oh my god. Well, that was Extra Mario Brothers. And we're gonna open up the next one I'm gonna showcase. I might spend a bit more time on this one. Um, we got... The one I was just talking about, uh, Super Mario Unlimited. 
this this is a lot of fun. And uh, this the ROM hacker it's named Frantic Mario. does really good work. Fucking whoops! <laughs> so we're gonna raid starter, and we're gonna because I I did I did try this out for a bit just to make sure it worked. I haven't played a retro Mario in a while. While I sure be bad at it, dude. You and me both, Patton. Gotta love the Mario 3 physics in this one so far. Whoa! And the big kicker is you can't go backwards because this 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 hack is actually based a Super Mario Brothers one hack. So I've got Mario one hacks and I've got a couple of some Mario three hacks, Super Mario World hacks, etc. And I, not many people, I don't think many people have seen this one. Like, this was a surprise to me. There's like two versions of this hack, but I got the better version. Oh my god, am I gonna have to... This is, an, this is annoying. I'm gonna have to res reset the capture card. Because now it's just being slow. There we go. Still have your nest from the 80s? Nice, dude. That's awesome. What what condition is your nest in? And uh, there's also collect a uh, collect it's, there's a collectible Mario coin in every single level. And I already think I missed this level's coin. Because there are 32 collectible coins in total. And apparently something something secret happens if you collect all 32 coins. Casey, welcome in, dude. Appreciate you coming through. And, and Chio, welcome. And thanks for the GG's. If you're still here, man, if you're new to the page, give, please don't hesitate to give the stream a like and a share. And also hit the notify button. Or uh, not notify, type exclamation point notify or hit the follow button. This is a new overlay set that I'm working with, with, you know, new code. And, uh... I'm also incorporating them going to be playing, doing retro games on, on an Xbox uh, Series S, as well as the Gears of War franchise and other Xbox games. Two that I have in mind that I have on the system, they're both RPGs, multiple disc RPGs, and I, and I played the shit out of them when I, when I owned the original copies. And uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure if many people have heard of these games, but as I said, I'm keen to showcase. You say great condition has been one of the huge grey and black protected case so you can keep it you can keep it in and still works. Nice dude. That's awesome. Now I remember how to get this one. First attempt.
Some, that was just me showing off. There's a few new stores about 30 to 45 minutes away from where I live that sell old SNES, Sega, SNES, N64, and even PlayStation 1 to 5 games. That's awesome, dude. That is amazing. Although, he, he, uh, so, uh, if you were to buy, say, do they, do they sell Game Boy games and whatnot? That, that would interest me because there's a few Game Boy Advance games I'd love to get my hands on. I've still got my Game Boy Advance somewhere. I'd love to, uh, there's a few Game Boy Advance games I'd love to play again. Even though, yeah, I can emulate them. But I love, I, I like, like, as much as I love emulating games, because I legally, well, I only emulate the, legally emulate the ones I own, but... There are some games that I just, you know, know much of it, man. Like, Golden Sun, for example, is a great example. That was the first handheld RPG I've ever played. Oh, nice they do! So realistically, Patton, if I were to go in and, uh, say, ask for a copy of Golden Sun on Game Boy Advance, how much would that cost in that store? How much would a copy of Golden Sun cost me? There's no lives in this game. Every time I get 100 coins, I'll get uh, a star given to me. So obviously I missed the coin in the first and third levels. Not sure on the price, say on Facebook. If you like, I can uh, DM you their page name. Sweet bit. Sweet dude, go ahead. After any of the hacks I showcase, all you gotta do is uh, is uh, shoot me a message on the GamerVision page, and I will give you a, I, will, I will hook you up with the uh, exact same games that I that I showcase on the channel. Right. So I think if I can get this down, if I can play this whole game through the whole game of this. I can pretty much like say, all right, today is Super Mario Bros. Unlimited Day. We're going to see if we can crack or do better than our personal best. And there'll be, say, one occasions I will try to do the 100% at all 32 coins run. Mel, how you doing? Thanks for coming through. How you doing? It's good to see you. This digital unicorn has come to hang out with me for a bit. Whoa, dude. I gotta be careful. I gotta watch my shit.
How's your week been, Mel? Hopefully you're doing all right. Oh my god. No. Yes. And instead of Toads, we rescue Yoshi X. And you gotta collect the Mario coins to learn get secret t tips from each castle. Which I think is pretty cool. And it has Mario 3. Despite it being a Mario 1 hack, it has Super Mario Brothers 3 graphics and physics. Which is nice. You're just gearing up for the move. Congrats on getting the house, Mel. I'm happy for you. Static. Hopefully it's a hopefully the move is like a smooth transition. Looking for looking forward to uh good good times, I know no doubt. Considering we're almost in 2022! And uh decided to uh debut a bit of a teaser of uh, a new overlay set that I'm uh, making for the Game of Vision streams and uh, showcasing a few uh, ROM hacks that only will be seen here. Where certain people have their Super Mario 3 mix, I have my Super Mario Brothers Unlimited. And I have other cool ROM hacks on NES and, and the Super Nintendo. Some of which nobody, I don't think, has ever seen. This game is called Super Mario Brothers Unlimited. You have unlimited lives and as you can see attempt written at the top. You can pretty much go through all eight worlds that have five stages in each. And uh, you'll pretty much catalog how many attempts that it's taken you to beat the game. And uh, in each level minus the castle levels there are uh, Mario coins that you can uh, that you find and collect to get uh, hints or tips, if you will. And uh, this is a Super Mario Bros. 1 hack. I watched a video of it on YouTube and I'm like, I must have this hack. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, that's my third attempt blown. There's the coin. Got the coin. Catch 22, we gotta get through the level with the coin. Which it shouldn't be too it shouldn't be too hard. thing I do is install RetroArch on a 16 on a modern day console and play 16 bit video games. Of course I gave me shit for that one. Oh. But then again, what does he do with his OLED switch? First thing he does is play Mario Kart. <laughs> this is gonna take a bit. <laughs> There's no such thing as game over here. There's only attempts. There's only attempts. I got other cool ROM hacks on here too. Plus I got regular games as well. But about two thirds of the library of games I put on here for between NES, SNES, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, etc. are hacks. A 
Amanda, how you doing? Chelsea, how you doing? Good to see you. How was your Christmas? How you doing, Chelsea? It's good to see you. How are you and John doing? How was your holiday? And a happy new year to anyone who happens to be in here. And I can't slide in there worth a shit. <laughs> Amanda, how's, how's your, how's your uh, time off treating you? Appreciate you coming in. So yeah. I, I can't believe I screwed that up. And a pattern I got your message dude. Appreciate it man. Appreciate it buddy. You know I'll be looking into 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 that page man. They may get some of my business. Lazy but okay. Nothing wrong with being lazy. Nothing wrong with being lazy on time off. When you have time off, you know, it's made it's made to be spent to be lazy. If you're not being lazy when you have time off, then you're doing something wrong. You've gotta make the most of the time that you have when you're not at work. Trust me, I know. I've walked I've walked the path of being the focused career guy. Still kind of am the focus career guy in regards to uh, game vision, but you know, here's what it is. Ah! Am I ever gonna make it through this level? <laughs> Christmas was good. We spent it with my sister, and he got a PS5 from some lady he married. Plus eight games. This lady must be crazy, but for buying him all that. <laughs> I know, right? Lucky bugger. Where is, where is that son of a bitch? I want to say, Hey Johnny! Welcome to the club! My self-anointed Christmas gift to myself was my Xbox Series S. Which I'm playing uh, retro games on right now. <laughs> and it's too fun. Okay, cool. I appreciate that, Pat. Thanks, man. There, there, there will be particular games that I want to get for particular systems. Just for, you know, nostalgia. Because if there's something I learned from watching the new... If there's something I le a lesson I learned out of watching The Matrix Resurrections, nothing eases anxiety like nostalgia. And that is a true fact. Because yeah, Matrix Resurrections, solid movie. I don't care if people had, he had, had, a, he had a bad headache so he went to bed early. Well that's alright, well tell him I said Merry Christmas and welcome to the club. I'm glad he's a part of the PlayStation 5 community. Well... I'm just glad he's got PS5, that's awesome. What games did you get? What games did that woman get him? What did he get? Was one of them Returnal? Because I have like the uh, what's what in regards to uh, the must own list for PS5 at the moment. Ah. So, here is my Xbox Series S controller. That proves I'm playing on an Xbox Series S. And uh, if anybody has an Xbox, you can add the, you can add me. My tag is my Xbox tag is above my uh, lovely portrait of my face. And right now, I'm totally just butchering this game. I wish I got that in here first. Uh... Oh no way! No way! My capture card, my capture device screwed me. I don't know what. 
what's going on with my capture card is just randomly freezing at particular moments. Yeah, cheers, buddy. I appreciate it. Hockey, football, Mortal Kombat, Spider-Man, and I got Kenya Elder Scrolls and Fortnite. Nice. Uh, with my Xbox Series S, I got uh, I got Rocket League and Fortnite as uh, free downloads with my Xbox. And uh, I'm not going to use them because, quite simply, I don't play Fortnite. And I've had my fun with Rocket League. Ah, no. He has more coming. Wow. Lucky devil. Kenya is a good game. I, the, Kenya the Bridge Spirits is a great game. I've got it. On, I, I picked it up on PS5 just before Christmas. Man, I picked up a lot, a lot between uh, Christmas, well, between, like, from... Jeez, I would say I'm, I picked up a lot in the last month or two. No word of a lie, I've picked up a lot. Did you get him? Did you, by chance, did you get him the uh, Mars Morales Gold Edition? Because the Gold Edition includes a PS5 remastered version of uh, the Marvel Spider Man game with all the DLC included. man is a lucky guy kind of jealous but you know oh you did nice nice that's awesome that means he gets two games for the price of one and uh, the Marvel spider-man uh, ps5 game of the year edition has all of the uh, DLCs that was released on the season pass with it, which is a pretty it's a nice value buy there. No, man, I've screwed up like this is like now attempt 22. tells me, like, I gotta allocate, like, one afternoon a week or something to playing retro games on my Xbox to get practice, so I don't suck as badly as I do here. It's horrible. It's horrible. I swear. But, I'm gonna showcase another ROM. I'm going to showcase another game. We're going to showcase another NES game that I acquired. I'm going to... We're going to go to Super Mario Brothers uh, XXXX. Now, this... I've, I've watched this on YouTube. I couldn't get it working on my SNES Classic Mini, but now I've got it working on my Xbox. At least I know I'll kick your butt in Mario. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? I'm putting myself on show here, Amanda, for, just for the pleasure of everyone watching. But then again, I don't know if you've noticed, but these are not just regular everyday Mario games. 
I'm playing ROM hacks. Cause you know, regular Mario is just not enough for Sirdash. I gotta play the ROM hacks! I'm one of those weird people who like to play ROM hacks. Even though I've watched a video on this, this is like the first time I've actually played this one. Okay, we can next. What is this? Oh, it's a star, man. Go! Oh. Yeah, they're the easy ones, I know, right? I like playing ROM hacks. ROM hacks are fun. That's how I put, I put in the description I'm playing retro games because I'm showcasing a bunch of games. Oh, here we go. It randomizes every time. This is... Oh my god. I'm swimming. Holy shit, look at this. Welcome to the Bizarro Land. Oh my god. Start to anyone who can who, who can uh, tell me which game that mu that music comes out of. Let's see what we get this time. for that working. That was horrible. Wonder what, since it gi gives me a random, like, one in four, I wonder what I'll get this time. Will I get this one in one again? Oh, what the hell. This is random AF, look at this. Screw it up! No! Oh my god. We got ourselves another one? Oh! No way, dude. I can't believe this. And we start from the start again. That is nuts, dude. But I like the premise of the randomized levels that you get every, for every, every run. Oh, ho, ho, what have we got here? I love this whole randomized uh, thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was too close. Try this again. This game, this game is pretty cool. I like, the, I like the premise of the that levels randomize at every time you get get to get get next. But I wonder if, you, if I can actually get four in a row. Oh wow, got this level again. 
focus on the fuel. Oh, oh no. I didn't get to listen to that music and like for long enough. Considering that particular track is actually from a Super Nintendo RPG that I played the shit out of like in my teenage years called Lufio. Luke uh, Luke 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. That's a SNES ROM that that I also have on here as well. How am I supposed to get that? That's just... How am I supposed to get that one? That is bizarre. Touching the spikes even as Big Mario kills me! What the... No. No. Spikes literally kill you. Spikes literally just kill you. Down in my last life already, man, that was great. This will probably be the epic life performance. I tried to talk uh, John into Demon Souls. He says he wouldn't have the patience for it. Not many people would, Chelsea. You have to be a madman to even consider playing Demon Souls. This is coming from me. But then again, I am a madman. This one I could definitely use practice. Next hack. This time we're gonna showcase something on the Super Nintendo. We got a whole bunch of goodies here. Magic build on Demon Souls is super OP. I know, right? It is insane. It is insane. Once you get Firestorm and you get leveled, you use, you can one-shot bosses, even the final two bosses. I know, man, it's insane. Seriously, it's insane. It's insane how strong that shit is. It is, it is nuts how how strong that shit is. I would have a lie, dude. That is insane. Let's play some Luigi's Adventure. 
This is one that would never ever work on my SNES Classic properly. Because the sound would disappear and all that other good stuff. Thank God for RetroArch and its em emulation of capabilities. You loved your Mario uh, DS games? Yeah, that, the, the Mario DS games were cool. I had I had the uh, 3DS ones too. So let's see how far I can get in this one. I'll allow myself maybe two, three continues if I get game over. At least I can go backwards, not like Mario Brothers 1 where it was, it was pretty much a scroll, right scrolling and you couldn't never go backwards. Oh! <laughs> X build on DS2 was the only one I had done a magic build on until Demon Souls. Hexes were stupid OP on Dark Souls 2 dude. Even going against Dark uh, Dark Lurker on Dark Souls 2 in the optional dungeon, you could cripple the Dark Lurker boss with hexes. It was insane, man. Magic is even sh even uh, OP in DS3. Just depends what you run, though. Hey, Chris, how you going, dude? Welcome to Gamer Vision Retrospective, where I'm showcasing some NES, NES and SNES ROM hacks, etc, etc, that I'm going to play on the channel in 2022. On a new overlay system, I'm going to learn to jump. Including Conker's Hyrule Tale. I've got that on here. That game was a lot of fun. Funnily enough, I have a score to finish. I have a score to settle with uh, Conquest Hyrule Tale because I never finished it. Never got got back to got, never get got back to it. Never finished it. I do intend on finishing it though. Oh, no. you also never finished that game. Chelsea, thanks. Uh, thanks for trying to clip. Just remember exclamation point clip space. Or ex just exclamation point clip. That's how you clip. How was your Christmas, Chris? It's been so long, I can't remember where I was at. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember where I was at. And this, this hack has pissed me off already. Uh, new hack. Back to the, we're gonna go back to this. Look what I got on DS. I got Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, Pokemon Heart Gold version, and Pokemon Platinum. Uh, we go back to SNES. Got Conker's Hyrule Tale sitting right there in the wings. Hyper Metroid, a ROM hack of Lufia 2, and this gem. If anyone remembers the uh, Mario Forever Flash game on PC back in the early 2000s. So, race file, and we're gonna start, start fresh. Or you can click on the movie, cut aka clapboard up top to click also, yeah. So this one's interesting, it has a storyboard, and I'm gonna watch the whole thing, no shame. Xmas was a very weird one, man, had sick family, so I went out, went home out of fear. I don't blame you, dude. The borders opened here in Australia, man. The borders to Victoria opened, and now, statewide in Queensland, we gotta mask up, and we gotta show proof of vaccinations if we wanna eat at a restaurant, and all that other... BS on your phone so you don't have that option on here. Okay. Well just top exclamation point clip space 60 or whatever time between 15 and 240. Can't wait for
for the Cartoon Mario game coming out. The Cartoon Mario game coming out. What? What? Are you, are you talking about the new Mario and Rabbits game, Chris? On your phone as well. To the top right corner if you click on the video button. Chelsea, are you on iPhone or Android? I've never seen the full clip to this. But that is... It's next to the three little dots. So yeah, just look next to the three little dots. Definitely love the graphic style here. The st graphic styles are good. Are oh, you on Android? Yeah, it should be the same on Android, I think. Don't quote me. I'm not 100% sure. Considering I use an Android phone, but it's very... A lot of the times these days I watch streams on my computer because I'm always at the computer doing stuff. Either overlay work or... Um, watching other people's streams. Yay! Life I didn't know existed. Oh no, I screwed up. It's a game made... A fan made by the ground up. Looks like the old Super Mario Super Show. I haven't heard of this, Chris. Link me. I need to know about this game. It sounds amazing already. I already love the premise. I'm already a big fan. Because, yeah, I love the old Super Mario Super Show, man. Okay, so that is holding down the button works as well. Send you a link in, in your messenger. It looks amazing. Cheers, dude. No worries, man. Your computer is slow as molasses in the winter time, so I can't do battle. You can't do shit on it. Yeah. Whoa! Damn it! <laughs> Fucking whoops! That's a goal for me next year: is to uh, have a portable uh, streaming setup. So if I go anywhere, I can do. I can vlog and uh, do live videos from other people's places or hotels. If I'm staying in a hotel, or I can. Uh, do it from friend, uh, where I'm staying, if I'm staying at a friend's house. Get up there, get up there. There we go, that's the first level. Yeah, just got your message, Chris. I'll definitely be checking that out after I'm done. That just sounds cool, man. Oh, why did I fall in there? Jesus. That was silly of me. Learn 
the jump suit at. <laughs> I'm using an Xbox controller. Don't judge me. I'm doing this on an Xbox Series S console. Hardcore is near. What have we got? Something tells me I'm way out of practice playing Mario Hacks, man. But as I said, this is just a, this is a showcase. Once I practice some of these, I'm gonna pretty much go, go out of my way to beat them. Not to mention there's some RPGs I'm get, that I'm gonna play as well. I'll get better. Like, don't judge me! Oh my god, I totally misjudged that shit. Oh, Amanda's judging. She's judging me. Stop. <laughs> Oh, look at that. The two girls watching in chat are judging me. <laughs> this is terrible. This is only level two! Last time I tried playing this, I got to like world level five, I think. Got to the fifth stage. When I was just mucking around on it. I should, I should learn, so now she needs to learn to play the games, bro. Need to stop sucking and actually get good. Get good! I'll, I'll probably end up showcasing uh, Metroid because that shit's my jam. Because, you know, I got, I, I got, I got the Metroid bug. Oh, no. The one hole you just c don't seem to want to clear it. The buttons are touchy. I'm trying. I need a cape, but I don't know if there are capes in this game. I'll get it eventually. I got my lives back. Someone get a clip of that. That was extraordinary. I got my lives back. I got my lives back. I redeemed myself. Thanks for the clip and I just fucked up again. <laughs> I could probably use use this to farm lives. <laughs> that's if I get it. That's if I nail it every time. So I got like I got four lives out of that. Let's be real. I got four. I got like four lives out of that. I did that pretty seamless too. It was it was sweet. Just gotta not play like a bitch. Haha! <laughs> Look at me collect all those lives. Look 
at that, I had twice as many lives as before. Totally nailed it. Watch me become a super player. Falling in the same hole, how many times? Nailed it indeed, yes indeed. Yes indeed, you're not wrong, and I'm not gonna argue. Oh my god, you're just giving me lives now. I think the game just feels sorry for me at this point. Game's like, all right, player, here's some lives for you because you absolutely suck. <laughs> but uh, so far this hack is great. Plus, I love the whole world map aesthetic. I'm a big fan of the world map, like from Mario World. Yoshi, Yoshi's Island music. Oh my God, I'm sold. Sent you a few. Haven't heard anything about it in a while though, hoping he's still working on it. I'll definitely be looking into it, Chris. That sounds amazing, dude. Oh, look at this. Look at Awesome. I bet, man. Like, uh, how big is the hack? Just from an outside looking in perspective, how big is the hack, dude? Like, how many. Is, is, is it based on. I know it's based on the Mario Brothers Super Show, but what, what game. What, what game is it a hack of? Like, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World. There's one thing I'm a big, always been a big fan of is the world map aesthetic from Mario World. One that all has shown so far. Wow. Here we go. We got auto scroll on action. So what do we got? And the music is kind of custom too. Dude, that is incredible. This is cool. Thanks, man. It's not even a hack. It's a new game completely. Yeah. This is cool. Uh, this is called Super Mario World Forever. Super, uh, this, it's a, if you ever remember a Flash game called Super Mar uh, Mario Forever on PC, this is like made into a Super Mario World ROM. It's really cool. You may need to try this one. I'll definitely have to send it, I'll send it to you, Chris, no problem. I'll, I'll send it to you now, actually, while, while the, uh, while one of the is up. So, uh, let's
Yep, I just uh, sent it to you, Chris. It should arrive very shortly. Oh, check it out. Mario 64 music. Check that shit out, dude. Yeah, that should definitely have hit your inbox now, Chris. There you go. Still trying to find the Zelda Mario hack and the one where you play as Link, Samus, Mega Man, and a few others. Oh, you mean Super Mario Brothers X? Is that is that the one you mean? Because that is a. St I think that I think Mario Brothers X is a standalone, dude. From what I remember. Oh my God! Radishes! Oh my God! Look at this! Look at this! Holy shit! Um, it's called Super Mario Brothers X. It's, uh, look it up in Google. Because you can play as, like, Mario, Luigi, Samus, Link, Mega Man, uh, Albert from Castle, uh, Go Go Ghosts and Goblins, I think he's from. Oh my god. Radish Mario is so fucking cool. I think I have it on my PC. I think I've got got it on my PC, dude. And you can download download like standalone level packs into the executable. Oh, what do we got here? You gotta look it up in a second. Nice, dude. Amanda, thank you for the 200 stars. That is very generous of you. I appreciate that very much. Uh, but. I don't have any star screens on this custom overlay set yet, but um, I will have star screens on this one very soon. But what I'll, this is what I'll do. I will go to I'll go to we'll go to the regular overlay screen. Just got to turn the webcam on. If it decides to work. You don't need star screens. You don't. Alright, I'm going back to I'm going back to the over I'm going back to the other overlay. Cause it wasn't showing my webcam, but I will have star screens on this overlay set very soon. So I appreciate uh, Chelsea sending me 500 stars. We activated the stars party. Let's see if we can hit the stars party. Because this is a first for me. I've seen it all going around the, all of December. That people doing star parties and shit. And this is the first time got, I've got one. Don't worry about that. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to have the star screens on this overlay set as soon as humanly possible. But for everyone who sends stars, I appreciate it. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It helps keeps ke helps keep me going. Helps me be able to bring fresh content to, for you guys, as well as it helps me fund giveaway prizes too. Chelsea, thank you for another 500 stars. That's 33 percent of the way to the stars party. Oh my God, what are we got? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my God! Amanda with another 250. Thank you. Man, you guys are blowing up the stream. That's going to definitely motivate me to stay up a bit later tonight to uh, get those uh, star screens up. Because you know, you got to have the, the uh, Matrix star screens up in here. I'm actually going to be uh, trying to get uh, some footage from the Matrix Resurrections to have a star screens as well. Because uh, I don't care what anyone says about the new Matrix movie. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it, it was great, in my opinion. And Patton, thank you for the 100 stars. Chelsea, thank you for the additional 500 stars. We're 90% of the way done. Oh my god, my celebration is about to begin. Thank you for the 500 stars, Amanda. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. That's the first time I've ever got one of those. And apparently you can only activate a stars party like once every hour or some shit. But thank you guys very much for your donations. I appreciate it a lot. I'm glad
glad that I could just, you know, be entertain, uh, entertain you guys, even if it is for a little bit. You got your bonus? Yeah! And plus, uh, there's also, uh, for streamers who make 2,500 stars and upwards, they get double the stars that they make in a month until the 30th of March. So, pretty much after I make 2,500 stars in the month, I get, uh, the stars double, the, the, the stars bonus up to, I think, $750 American each month until the end of March. I enjoyed the new Matrix movie. A few things I, about it I didn't like, but I thought it was good. Yeah, there was a couple of things I didn't like either, but as a whole, man, great movie. And, I oh, got my bonus. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Haven't seen the new Matrix yet. Saw Spider-Man No Way Home, though. How was it? I have no spoilers, though, but how was it? Because I haven't seen the new Spider-Man movie. Like, first and foremost, I had my priorities in check. I went and saw the, the new Matrix movie. So I'm a, big, I'm a big Matrix nerd. Man, I cannot wait to get those Funkos, man. I am so looking forward to my Matrix Funkos. Oh no. Screw it up. It was awesome, I cried a lot. Oh my god! Alright, come on, come on, go, go, go. Come on, come on. Don't fail me now, buddy. If I can get a flower here, I'll be set. Come on, come on. I def it definitely earned its hype. And, uh, just as another plan, like, next year, guys, when The Matrix Resurrections releases on DVD and Blu-ray, I have a Matrix giveaway planned for people in who regularly come into the streams. Mario X is correct. I want to find Triforce Island. Nice, man. Yeah, Mario X is, I actually have that on my PC somewhere, Chris. With a bunch of level expansions, too. Man, the new Matrix isn't what you expected. I don't think it was what a lot of people expected, Chris. Like, I'm a guy who's a Matrix nerd. Yeah, that it had its it has it, it it has its flaws, it has its faults, but I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie for what it was, man. 
Like, there are things they could, they could have done to make the movie better. But, you know, for what they did put out, man. Oh, no, I screwed up. You didn't want to spoil anything, though. John wants to see the new Matrix movie. And I love the Matrix film. This one was way off. I kind of felt it was, it was way off, but at the same time, it still felt like a Matrix movie to me. But it was, it was done not by the Wachowski brothers. It was just done by one, lo one Wachowski. Now, now imagine if both Wachowskis put their heads together and they both did the movie, not just uh, one of them. But, oh, I'm not gonna lie, man, there, there were some moments in, uh, new Ma in Matrix Resurrections that had me literally jump at the edge of my seat saying, being like, holy shit, there were several holy shit moments, man, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. the Wachowski sisters now. Yeah, I know, right? The action scenes were off compared to the previous titles. Also, not a lot of action until the end. Yeah. They put more emphasis on the story. I found they put more emphasis on the story they were trying to tell. Like, there was a lot of, em there was a lot of emphasis on the story. There was a lot of good ideas in that story. Like, when I saw, when I saw a particular Easter egg, I was like, Holy shit. Had some Okai parts for sure, yeah. Like, uh, I enjoyed when, uh... Ah, oh, damn, I, sh I, I shouldn't talk, I shouldn't talk about it until everyone has gone to see it. Like, I, d I don't want to provide, sp I don't want to give, sp I'm at the risk of not wanting to give spoilers. Because the last thing I want to do is spoil someone's, uh... Spoil the movie for anybody. I don't like to spoil things for people. I did like how it made you pay attention to the subtle clues through the start of the movies. Yeah, I know, right? But yeah, for even though it was mostly storyline, it told a really good story. In my in my opinion, it told a very good story. But there are particular nuances in the movie that make you wonder, that'll make you ask the question like, you know, for example, that's why I'm being vague, that's fair enough. For example, a particular, the, a particular Frenchman featuring in the movie, is he going to get a standalone movie? Are we going to get like some sort of backstory to, to what happened? to him after the Matrix re uh, Revolutions. That would be a story I'd like to see. Like, what happened... What happened to that particular character after the Matrix was rebooted? was good but particular person should have stayed true to their original speaking the way he originally talks yeah I know right now Chris are we talking about the same are we talking about the same person are we both are you talking about Smith or are you talking about the Merovingian because the one I'm referring to is the Merovingian Yeah, 
Yeah, I knew he. Oh, yeah, Smith. Oh, you knew who I meant? Okay. Considering that. Oh my god. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna run out of time. I'd rather die than run out of time. Because running out of time is embarrassing. Oh, you knew who I meant? Oh, okay, cool. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, anticlimactic and cliche with how they uh, the role Smith had in the new the new uh, simulation being uh, Neo's business partner, but he did leave on a on a cliff note with his last piece of dialogue. And I messed up again. But, uh, you gotta crash. Have a good one. Have a good stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate you coming through, Chris. I'll check out your links that you sent after I'm finished. And, uh, you have a good one, dude. And I'll catch you again soon. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. So Chelsea, if you're still here, what did you end up getting for Christmas? says the stream will begin shortly has, n has not begun already what do you mean my banner says the stream will begin shortly don't you mean no it says um Thanks for, thanks for, uh, <laughs> you know what, let's change that on the fly. <laughs> I can't believe this. Let's change that on the fly. So, I'm going to see if the opening slide has the same message. If not, I will change it. That's a welcome message. So we'll go to welcome message. I guess I'm gonna have to make a separate one. So let's duplicate this. So I may as well have a second a secondary one. So I'm gonna copy and duplicate it. second welcome message. We'll delete this one. We'll re remove this one. And we'll put another another welcome message here. And look, what I'll do is I'll I'll take out the stream will begin shortly piece. Because that would probably be better. So it's one, two, three, So how's that? Is that better? I took out the stream and it will begin shortly, but... Got a nice blanket, a couple of nice shirts and air fryers, some nightmare stuff for all Christmas kicks and stuff. Oh, that is awesome. That's awesome. 
So I took out the stream will begin shortly, so thanks thanks for correcting, uh, bringing that to my attention. We just fix it on the fly. Screw that up. And I want to be Radish Man. If I can be Radish Man, that'd be awesome. We can do this level. And you won't believe what else I scored today. Oh. Kathy, welcome in. Ka uh, Captain BS, welcome in. How you doing, Kathy? How you doing, Captain BS? Good to see you guys. I'm just showcasing some Mario hacks on my Xbox Series S through RetroArch. Some, some hacks that not many people have seen. I'm just doing a bit of a hack showcase with a new overlay screen. Cause uh, this is, this is the beta, this is the alpha version of the new overlay set that I'm doing for the, the, the channel for when I start streaming games on the Xbox Series S. I will, I will uh, recap um, like future plans and whatnot because tomorrow is New Year's Eve so we may as well talk about how a year was in retrospect and what we want to achieve for the next year. I know next year I want to have a portable streaming setup so if I go anywhere I can stream wherever I go. So I'll have, I'll have a streaming laptop with my capture card and whatnot and a microphone and an integrated webcam so I can stream while I'm on location. Plus I want to get into uh, podcasts and potentially vlogging next year. motivated by the likes of Sammy Guevara and his blog career. No. <laughs> Whoops. This is horrible.
Hey, John had to do a double take. It's only 2.20 in the morning here. What's up? Um, I'm showcasing some uh, Mario hacks on through RetroArch on my Xbox Series S. And uh, this is a new overlay sort of alpha that I'm working with. So that's time to showcase a new hack. So let's load the content. What else have we got here? Go back to SNES. Hyper Metroid, Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom. I want to showcase something I used to play quite regularly on my old channel. Who here has seen Super Metroid and A Link to the Past in one game? I used to stream this on quite the regular basis. Super Metroid and A Link to the Past combine together two of the best SNES games combined into one game and there are four points where you can transition from Super Metroid into A Link to the Past. Obviously uh, Chelsea remembers this. Uh, just set the controls. And uh, what's special about this is uh, Samus, the Samus sprite in Super Metroid is Link. Now, welcome to a link to the past. So, first thing I usually do is see what's out on the island. We got a Let's reload this. Actually, I'm going to delete the save and then restart because I already I tested this as well. So, uh, how you doing, Kathy? It's good to see you. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you. 
so... Screw it, I am a Zelda sprite. I am a Zelda. Sword. So we know what's on the island. On the island is a sword. Uh, let's go to Link's house. Sword. I'm good. Not even remotely awake yet. Just wa waiting for coffee. That's cool. Sanctuary. Let's see what we got in the sanctuary. WTF, look at this shit! There are two Zeldas! WTF, two Zeldas, what the fuck? <laughs> Sick. And now we're gonna do our usual checks. I'm gonna get myself like pre-season back in the plane Super Metroid again. anyone doesn't know what Essence is not familiar with uh, the Super Metroid Link to the Past combo randomizer. For those of you watching for the first time, this is a, a randomized version of Super Metroid and Link to the Past combined into one game. And there are four, four points where you can go into Super Metroid and Link to the Past and vice versa. Yeah, wake been up since 5pm yesterday and won't go to bed till 8am. Uh, 8 what time is it now? Uh, Chelsea? What time is it now for you? Man, that's intense. <laughs> One of the other first checks I do is through here. What do we got? Missiles for Metroid. Neat. 3.33 AM, so about another four hours. Why have you been up for so long, Chelsea? Work? Nope. Nope. Get away, get away from me, bird. Get away from me, bird brain. Ooh! 300, 300 rupees. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, you're at work? Okay, cool. That explains it. Well, you get to go home in like four hours, that's awesome. Grateful that you're here on you, while you're working. Hopefully I'm keeping you entertained. Even though I suck at this game, whoa! It's not that I suck, I'm out of practice. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Oh wow, we got a free bomb, look at that shit. We don't have to spend money on bombs, this is amazing. Get off at 7.15am, wow. You're almost home. Alright, let's see what's in Blind's house. Do all the, get all these checks out of the way, the juicy ones. Show me what you're hiding in your house. Wow, hammer? 
another 300 rupees? Wow. Another 20? Another 20. Wow. I'm rich. This is working out rather nicely already. Like I'm rich. So Jack says in this way. What do we got? Neat. Uh, I, don't I don't know why I did that, but still. Energy attack for Metroid. X-ray visor. Sweet. I won't say no. <laughs> I really, I need to wake up a little more. I need coffee. I'll be back after your caffeine slam. No worries. No worries, guys. Thank you for the hundred stars. This is the new overlay set. I don't presently have star screens on it yet, but I will have star screens on this over on this overlay very soon, so thank you very much for the stars, I appreciate it. stars so thank you I shamefully wasted my bombs like an idiot I need a bomb I need a bomb so I can bomb open this hut and get more bombs there we go we got a bomb Taking a bit of getting used to playing, even if, trying to play this with a Xbox controller, it's very different. Shame we don't have a bow yet. So what I usually do is I go to the, go to the Lost Woods, do the few checks in there, and then I make my way through Kakariko Village, and get bombs and do a series of checks in the village. I think there's like a total of like I think 14 or 15 checks in Kakariko alone, and a lot of it has been for Super Metroid. This ammo is going to be definitely come in handy. Should see if Corso would actually play one of the entertain playing one of these. I, I don't even think I talked to the guy who would usually give me a bottle yet either. Energy tank. Wow, we're getting we're getting all the energy. Holy shit. Where is the guy that sells me the bottle? What are you gonna give me, sir? Ten arrows, 
What a waste. Now that we've done this, we're gonna go and check the big the we're gonna check what's in the shelf. What's in the library on top of the bookcase? What have we got on the bookcase? Gravity suit? Whoa, dude. <laughs> wow, dude. That is nuts. Gravity suit this early? Thanks for the hundred rupees. Not that I need them. Alright. So after the, ga the game check, we're gonna go. Where are we hit? Where, where, where do I usually hit to next? Because it's been a while since I've done an SMZ3. Randomizer. Sorry about the early interruption with the whole banner thing. That's all good. It's all good, Chelsea. This is, uh, you actually helped out. You actually helped me out with that, so I appreciate it. I really do. No one, no one else. There's another place I should go and have a look in. You, you really, you really actually done me a favor, uh, Chelsea. I did not notice it. So, uh, I do appreciate it. Didn't really interrupt that much. So, we gotta go to Hyrule Castle and do the escape sequence. Let's see what's in the, in the castle. God, tier 1 tree full. Rupees. Lame. What do you got for me? Super missiles? Wow. I got supers. Why do I get this seed as an anarchist? He's a secret anarchist. He likes to blow shit up. Heart containers. Sweet. I'll take that. That's gonna be helpful. That's great. That's like tier two. Tier three would be considered either bombs or red rubies. Okay, what is this frozen again? I'm getting sick of this freezing on me, dude. OBS, you need an update. I just realized I don't have I don't have a light source. All right, again. From the top, I should know better. I don't have a light source. I'm such a dumbass. Obviously, it's like been like I don't remember the last time I I did a 
SMC3 randomizer. All I know is that it's been a while. And I'm out of practice. Luckily for me, this is just a showcase. I should really remember how to do, do this shit. Well, I'll get back in the saddle. But I think next year, in, in 2022, I'm going to be doing a good amount of retro content. <laughs> Look at Zelda run. Surprised how well I remember I remember the beginning of this game. Chest. Wow, blue tunic, which means a blue tiara. So, back out. Yeah, this is really a very nice blue tunic. Not gonna lie. Whoops, no, 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 get back in my cave. This seed is fucking loaded. Or oh, Metroid. Ah, oh, whoops. You 
drawing late. I know, Corso. I had some stuff that was really important that needed to be done today. I got it all done, but I'll make up for it tomorrow, I promise. I did say I'll be coming on with some retro... Uh, a retro showcase of... Uh, retro games. On my Xbox Series S. And... I just showcase uh, Super Metroid Link to the Past ram randomizer. Um, what else have I got? I'm let's let's showcase another NES game. Well, better still, to round it up, I'm gonna play. Should I play Nintendo 64? Uh, actually, no. I'll showcase another SNES one. It's only fair. So, what else have we got? We got. Let's play the Lost Levels Enhanced for a bit. You had stuff to do? I like I like stuff. Stuff's good. BRB time uh, for Vinyl Snow is Chelsea. Check this out. Another ROM hack. And, uh, Corso, you're not going to believe this, dude. I, I, uh... I scored, uh... I scored another Switch today. I scored the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Switch. So, I'm now back to having three Nintendo Switches. <laughs> yeah, I, I scored another Nintendo Switch. A Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu Switch. Indeedy. Scored it as in, uh, I know, I know how, how, how rare they are to come across and how expensive they are, but I only paid $350 for it because, uh, a friend of mine who, who I helped out today had it sitting in their, had it sitting in the box in the spare room in their house. I was like, do you, do you even use this? And they're like, no, it hasn't been used in like six or eight months. I'm like, are you selling it? And I asked why. And I basically said, well, if you're willing to sell it, if you're, you're looking at selling it, I will, I will buy it off you. So yeah, I now have three Switches again. With Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu pre-installed. Because uh, that particular model of the Switch, which was released around the same time, it, it released with when Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were, were released, along with the Pokeball Plus accessory. That console alone, with the dock and the Pikachu Eevee Joy-Cons, is worth anywhere from 450 to 500 bucks and upwards. And I got it for 350 bucks. They told my friend said to make an offer, and I said three fifty. And they're like, "All right." So I'm like, "Score! You just made my day, friend." So how you been, Corso? How's your How's your holidays been, dude? I saw you dressed up as an elf. You look, you look freaking hilarious, dude. Did Did you get schlo uh, schlossed, schlossed on Christmas? Um, no, no, it's not an OLED, dude. It's a, it's just a standard switch, but it had Pikachu and Eevee for Let's Go, the Let's Go games on the dock, and the Joy Cons were like a yellow and brown color. Each individual Joy-Con had its own color, like for Pikachu and Eevee. And there was Pikachu artwork on the dock, as well as on the cons on the uh, Switch itself. And yeah, it's it's one of the rare consoles. You're being very lazy. No, I wish it was an OLED, but you know, as I said, 350, man, I can't go wrong. 
I am gonna. I do have a memory. I do have an, a, a memory card from my o, my OG Switch that I can put into the back of this one, so I can. Ex, so I've got the expanded memory, which I got on a 128 gig SD card. And I thought today I would showcase some hacks on my Xbox. And it's pretty much in pristine condition too, man. I'm I'm happy with it. Consider I've got three Nintendo accounts now. Instead of having three accounts across on two switches, I now have each account on a separate switch. There aren't many switch games that you want for the moment. Oh, that's fair enough, dude. Now, are you getting the Nintendo 64 expansion pass, or are you just giving that a hard miss? If, if you're curious on what games are good on Switch, I can recommend some to you. It's totally up to you. Considering, what can I say? I'm, guilt I'm guilty as charged. I play way too many games. I'm hoping next year in 2022, we get a Metroid Prime Trilogy port, or just Metroid Prime 1 even. I'll be so happy to get either which either which way that would make me a happy camper. Most games I want are on PS4 anyway. I want Octopath Traveler. I got Metroid Dread and Ultra Street Fighter 2. Nice man. Octopath Traveler man, I I strongly recommend it. Octopath Traveler is an awesome game. It's very well done. And you can pick from one of eight different different classes to start as. And you can pretty much get all the you can do all the stories for the other classes roughly around the same time. His son has a heap of the Mario and Zelda games, so I just borrowed from his stash. That's fair enough, dude. Sir, I'm, I'm buying games all the time. As well as, uh... I also got an additional copy of Pokemon Sword with the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Switch. So <laughs> now I've got two copies of Pokemon Sword and one copy of Shield, which I don't mind. Re I don't mind playing the game again because those games, those games were fun. I enjoyed them for what they were, and I don't have to worry about down. I don't have to worry about having to rebuy DLCs or anything for particular games solely because I have them already like already paid for them so I could just re-download them and uh I'm ac I've, I've actually uh I'm actually gonna take your advice course so I'm actually gonna stream uh once I get all the Gears of War games, one to five, I'm going to stream them all. Considering I already re-upped my, my, my overall character level on Gears, on Gears 5 yesterday from playing Horde mode with a, with a couple of friends. 
So pretty much what that means is I leveled up to 100 and I got the option to re-up, re which means it sends me back to level 1, but it gives me a... Pr it's pretty much... It's a pretty much prestige sort of system, but, uh, but exclusive to Gears. Gotta fuck that up again. I was gonna say, I want to see you do Mortal Shell. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing Mortal Shell too, man. That's also on my list. I got that on PS5, man. That's gonna be on the list to do. Like, uh, come, the tw come January, like, what's, what's out for me next month? Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus is out for me next month. So that's, that's a game I'm keen to do. And Feb, February, uh, Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this shit again. I'm gonna have to reset the capture. I'm gonna have to reset the Elgato again. Deactivate, reactivate. There's gotta be an o o OBS update for. And gets. When it comes to doing Mortal Shell, I wanna. Pl I wanna. The last time I played it was about five months ago. I would like, I'm, I'm going to stream it eventually at some point in 2022, but it's going to be like from a, from, you know, someone playing it for the first time, because I finished it on PS4 and I picked up the PS5 version, which has extra stuff, which I want to try and do it like from a fresh perspective. All right, that got me a game over. That was shit. <laughs> Whoops. So, so with Retro Arch, I've got got uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy. Got Metroid Zero Mission and Fusion, bunch of Pokemon games. Uh, now so I got a bunch of ROM hacks. Uh, what else have I got? I've got got Pokemon Heart Gold, Pokemon Platinum, Golden Sun, Dark Dawn on the DS, and SNES, and N64. So let's load, let's load Goldeneye for shits and giggles. You got frustrated with it and rage quit? <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. So I'll show you what else I got on here. So, got main games I got is, uh, I, bought, I bought Gears 1 and all the DLC. I got Gears 5. Uh, I got AM2R on here as well. Uh, I've got Gears Tactics, which I'm also going to do. That is set before the Pendulum Wars and the Gears of War uh, backstory. Um, I also got these two. I think I mentioned these to you once or twice, Corso. I don't... I'm definitely going to want to stream these two. These two are my favorite Xbox 360 up exclusive RPGs. When I get 2, 3, and 4, I'm going to have to have an expansion slot. So I can... Uh, have more space because that's this is a 512 gig uh console and this is how much space i've used to install one two three four five six seven games that's that's how much how much space i've used out of 512 i've used like i've still got 149 gig free and you can only fit so much on here so i've got like eight games on here Let's play another Mario hack just to pass some time. Are you able to turn your mic volume up? I've got you at full volume on my phone just to hear you. I'm sorry, dude. Just give me a second. Still getting used to using the new mic, dude. And uh, my, my volume on the mic is turned up all the way.
I'm gonna have to sit the mic closer to me. So how's that? Can you hear me? I was invisible for the longest time. Why? Why? Fucking Kaizo Block. I swear I'm better at these games, dude. I swear I'm better. Can't hear your mic on the stream. Oh my god. Someone says I can't hear my microphone. God, I swear my mic, my mic does just doesn't like me. Full stop. Is this better? Oh good, I can hear you fine. Just, it's just I have to turn up the vo volume phone on full. Man, that sucks. I guess another thing I'm going to be buying in 2022 is one of them uh, studio quality uh, microphones with a, with a mic stand. Going to be buying like a Yeti or something. No, Jovi isn't here. Hello, Jovi. Appreciate you coming in. And I uh, appreciate your feedback. So I, I can't hear you or your microphone. You need to sit closer to it. That's better. Like, yeah. I want a better mic. You can't afford it. Oh, I know. I hear you, man. Well, this mic definitely beats the shit out of the internal webcam mic that I uh, made do with for just over two years. This was just a Christmas special. How you going, Jovi? Thanks for coming in. It's good to it's good to see you come in and chat in in my stream this time. So, how was your red rooster? Was it good? Got me a wanting red rooster, even though I ate my, I ate my, uh, I ate my potato salad and my chicken gravy roll that I made. Tasted good. Might have some Hershey's ice cream later. So of course, are you streaming tonight, dude? I do apologize for having that I haven't seen you. It's been been in your streams the last couple of days. Still getting used to uh new night nighttime medication, dude. All good here, been to the bottle o ready for tomorrow night. New Year's Eve. You're not spending New Year's by yourself, are ya? Going on with days on Mario Kart for New Year's Eve. Nice, dude. I enjoyed playing Mario Kart with you last week, man. Even though you totally destroyed me, I enjoyed playing Mario Kart with you. It was fun. I know how hard the game is. The only mode I'm good at is 50cc and that's it. And apparently in this game I die in the second level. Like a complete amateur. <laughs> so cool, so have you seen the new Matrix? Have you gone to, gone to see the new Matrix film yet? gonna wait. Blood 
tough game, OG Mario Kart. People that haven't played it just don't understand. Yeah, I know, right? Like, it, it, we were good at it when we were kids. Nowadays, as adults, it's like super hard. But then again, I suck at Mario Kart in general. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mince words and I'm not gonna say that I'm the best. About the best I can do is like 50cc tops. Anything else like a hard no. <laughs> I've just never been good at, at racing games in general. The only racing games I've really ever had any sort of skill on is Need for Speed. Because that shit is unrealistic. And it has uh, super crazy expectations and physics for driving for the cars that are driven in the game. You send the new uh, Spider-Man a bit mad with the new Matrix, you'll see it eventually. That's fair enough, dude. Uh... Yeah, I will admit the Matrix Resurrections has had its faults, but I'm a Matrix nerd. I enjoyed the movie for what it was. It took, it was a big emphasis on storytelling over action this time around. But I, I enjoyed it. Some, there were some really good uh, Easter eggs and nuances to the film that I <laughs> found quite uh, comical. Like, uh, Agent Smith, instead of saying Mr. Anderson every 10 seconds, he referred to Neo as Tom. And there seemed to be a, you know... It's just a new dynamic. And he seemed... It's just, you know... He didn't seem like a nihilistic madman to me. And a lot of people I've talked to, not only in this stream, but over the last couple of days, have told me they recommend they re they they recommend me to go see the new uh, Spider-Man movie. Still feel like they uh, left it off for the first movie. Well, that's fair enough, man. That's open to interpretation. Like, yeah, I'm just I'm just full on Matrix nerd. Everyone has their opinions. I'm not gonna slam people about their opinion. I'm not gonna be like. Someone's like, oh, you have to like this movie or that movie. Or we can't be friends. I'm not that sort of person. I actually appreciate that people have their opinions. You know, it's just a case that, you know, particular movies are not for everyone. Either you like it or you don't. Like, there are some movies I've watched that I didn't, lo I, I didn't really like all that much, but, you know, I appreciated it for what it was. And yes, we all have the odd movie that we wish we never saw. You have to see Spider-Man, No Way Home. New Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> you know, you know. Also, I actually agree with you there, man. I agree with you. Despite the fact I actually own them, I should not. I should not be throwing. Uh, I'm not. I shouldn't be throwing stones, considering I bought all the Star Wars movies, even though I hated the Disney ones. Yeah, I said it. I hated the Disney ones. They ruined the lightsabers. They wrecked everything. Everything was totally fucked. Well, by the time we got to well, by the time we got to Rise of Skywalker, everything was totally screwed. Bleep it out of existence! I'll do more than bleep it out of existence. <laughs> but again, even though I didn't like the movies and I thought they were garbage, I appreciated them for what they were. I appreciated the movies for what they were. That's pretty much what I did as a consumer. And I jumped a little too late, early. Fuck. Rogue One was amazing though. Solo was a hard pass. Agreed. I was expecting good things out of Solo to be honest. But I was kind of disappointed. Like, 
like Rogue One was excellent, especially Vader coming at the end of the movie, man. That was that was nuts. That had me on the edge of my seat when I saw that because I went and saw Rogue One in theaters. I didn't go to see Solo in, in theaters. I actually just I picked it up on DVD and just watched it. Again, it's one of those movies I just appreciated it for what it was, even though the fact I even though the fact I hated it. Piece of shit. Piece of shit, Goomba. Ah, crap. So now she had one job, and that was to pick up the mushroom, you moron. Jesus. directors really didn't help that trilogy, nah. It didn't help it at all. If anything, it, 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 it made it worse. You know what movie, you know what other movie looks good? The, uh, Fantastic Beasts, where they, the, with the Dumbledore tie-in. That movie looks good. I watched the trailer for that and I'm like, wow, this is this looks good. I definitely want to go see that movie next year for sure. I'm still mad at Warner Brothers for that. <laughs> you still need to watch The Mandalorian also? Same, I need to watch it. I'll be honest, I haven't watched The Mandalorian yet. There's been so much, so many other things I've been watching. Like, I've been re watching South Park. I watched the South Park specials, like the COVID specials and whatnot. Got myself reacquainted with, with that. Uh, been wa watched the Matrix trilogy before going to see Resurrections. And funnily enough, I picked up, I picked up two. Uh, sets for the Matrix Trilogy on DVD for a future giveaway in April of next year. And I fucked up. It was doomed from the start, J.J. Abrams as a hub of a starting project without writing the endings. Yeah, J.J. Abrams. That's a good way to insult somebody. <laughs> I'd be like, now, now, J.J. Abrams. Come on, dude. How do I screw that up? It's easy. No, it's not. Oh, there we go. Coin. Visible coin block. I jumped too far. Shit. Oh, lucky I got a life there. Oh my god, it's the D Raider. He's coming in with a support age. Dude, I don't have subs on this channel. What's your follow age, D? D, what's your follow age? We got, we got ourselves a D-Raider, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone say, uh, let's put, get some hashtag D-Raider in the chat. And I messed up. Am I gonna get past the third stage of this hack? Yes or no? Let's get some, let's, uh, let's ask a question. Will Sir Dash get through this level? Yes or no? Oh my god, that was just totally bonkers. What the hell? What in the hell? 
3D PS5. <laughs> And man, it is like, nah, so that shit ain't gonna make it through this level. Cause he sucks. <laughs> the one thing that Amanda would have me beat on is playing Mario Brothers. That's what she said. This is not Crash Team Racing. If I, if I had Crash Team, if I was playing Crash Team Racing, jo my friend Jovi would crush me at that. Oh! Damn! That was insane. I'm gonna prove you wrong, Amanda. I'm gonna get through this level. I'm gonna get through this level. I will get through. And Marika. <laughs> Damn it, sir. That's turning knock, knock spot on. Knockspot, I got, I copped a copyright strike also. The Knockspot copped a copy, got me a copyright strike. So I'm very reluctant in using it again. Man is like, finally, well, acknowledge me. I got through that level. If I get this first try, I'm a legend. Whoa, dude. No. Whoa, dude. What have we got here? Oh my god, this is bizarre. Welcome to Bizarro World. Alright, we can't go down here yet. These spot looks a bit. Alright, Shithead. First try! Do you know which one was the copyright? Um, I think it might have been the victory one. Alright, let's open the knock spot and let's see what happens. We're gonna try and troubleshoot this. Alright. Also, type exclamation point victory in chat. I don't know which one was the copyright, but they, the copyright strike pretty much had every single timestamp for every single uh, alert, so I'm not sure. So the only way we're going to know for sure is if we go through each one. Gotta do one up, uh, command up for Megan. I learned from Corso's example with the knock spot to put cooldowns on the commands. What's funny? Are you laughing at me because I'm being nice? I said something nice about Corso. The funny command doesn't work, Alex. I deactivated it because I had something else. I turned off the Agent Smith laugh, but I'm willing to turn it back on. Just give me a second. I'll turn it back on. So we're going to go to our keywords. We're going to... Going to deactivate Brownie. Because I gotta, I gotta re-upload. I can only have five custom sounds, so I gotta, I literally gotta re-upload something else. So we're gonna delete one in exchange for the funny, because Alex wanted the f uh, funny, the Agent Smith laugh. So we're gonna go. Where is it? There it is. Alright, try the, try the command now. I pretty much just relisted the command. Y 
you put a call down on whoops now? Yeah, you put it like 30 seconds, wasn't it? Alex, try the funny command. It should work. And if any, if any of you are new here, feel free to hit that follow button and like and share the stream. Or type exclamation point notify in chat and you'll get notifications for when I go live. Oh my god, am I gonna get, am I gonna get a timeout? No. No I'm, no, I'm not, man. No, no. I think, I think the Matrix Victory one kind of did it to me. It could possibly be it, that. It could possibly be it. Oh god, I had fire, fire play off like two seconds, and I still messed up. So, if I if I do something cool that deserves a victory or a GG's, type exclamation point victory in chat. Just bear in mind, guys, that cool there's cooldowns on each of the commands, varying from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Because agent, because agent, agent Fuckerberg likes to copyright strike people for no apparent reason. He's probably mad that I'm more popular than he is. I hope you will, Dee. What? I went through one. I, I, I'm thinking if I went through the other pipe, would I be going in a different direction? I'm actually doing pretty good at this one. Nope. Oh cool, I got a life. Have I even game overed on this yet? I don't ever recall if I got- if I- Actually yes, I have game overed once, I think. Oh, Are we gonna first try this level? <laughs> hey Corso, type exclamation po Do the exclamation point screen command. Is that what you're saying? I, I think I now just did. <laughs> I just came over. Alright, let's select another one. Clip 30. <laughs> Frank, thanks for the clip, dude. <laughs> Alright, so let's showcase... what do we want to do? Let's play New Super Mario Brothers. And if you're new here, feel free to type the exclamation point notify in chat. And if, you, and yeah, if you're new, don't be shy, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself, tell me about you, what sort of games you enjoy. And uh, where are we all watching from? We know where Corso is watching from Radelaide with his awesome Radelaide internet. Still, Dolby internet shits all over Radelaide. Sorry, Corso. Ah, fuck! I don't know what you're talking about, Blue. Uh, D, uh, excellent. You're putting like full age three with the three blue boxes. I am gonna be pu pulling a bit of a late one tonight. We've got to be. I'm gonna be putting. Uh, I'm 
gonna put um, star, a few star screens in on the new overlay. This is a Gamma Vision uh, overlay set B. Watching from Hampshire in the UK. Awesome, dude. And uh, thank you for thank you for the notify, dude. I appreciate it. How you doing, Frank? Uh, what do you do, buddy? And uh, what sort of games do you play? I have a few UK people who come in uh, to the stream just quite regularly. And I actually have some family in it. I have uh, extended family in, in the UK. Jovi's here, we know where she's watching from. She's watching from Dolby. She's watching from the place with the best internet. <laughs> now what, in the time that I've known D, I don't even know where he lives. I don't even know where in America he is from. Salopian Viking family and semi regular in Corso stream. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, me and Corso are good friends. He, he's in Adelaide in South Australia, and I live in Queensland, which is like. To get from me. For me to go from my place to Corso's would take like 20 plus hours in a car. And as much as I love Corso, I'm not going to spend 20 hours in a car just to go to his house. Only to be told that uh, Radelaide Internet is better than Dolby Internet. <laughs> nah, but I do, I do, I did plan on. I, I actually want to hang out with Corso one day in person because he's cool. He's, he's, he's one of he's one of my close friends on the uh, platform. He's one of my favorite people. Even though he gives, he, we give each other shit, but that's just what it is. And, uh, yeah, I also, uh, I also go, in, go into Dale streams from time to time when I see him live. I, I've just been slack this week because, you know, Christmas and all that other jazz. Just enjoying... Jo Whoa! Fuck. That almost killed me. <laughs> AD, you forgot the exclamation point, buddy. <laughs> but I know, it, I know what you. I kind of know what you're driving at, dude. The D Raider is one of the most mysterious entities in the known universe. He's even more mysterious than Margaret Thatcher, who can't stand the the uh, hard currency. Actually, I should... Ah, no, I screwed that up. All right, we'll try this again. We didn't even get through the first world. We totally, I totally suck at this. We'll try it again. I haven't been in the uh, hangout on Dale stream this week. I think I should do so. Samantha, hello! My moderator, Agent Agent Ken, is here. Agent Ken is here. And I suck at this game right now. I am a choke artist, but somehow I'm meant to. I'm so sort of entertaining the masses, even if it is for 3.5 seconds. 
Try to get past World 1 on another Mario hack, it's not, it's not easy. I deserve to be booed. It's like, come on, boo this man. He's meant to be good at games, but he's like, not even getting through the uh, first world of this one. You had me sucked in when you, I saw you were playing Mario. Oh, that's cool, dude. I, you're a fan of Mario? That's awesome. Man, <laughs> everyone grew up with Mario. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Mario games myself. I'm also a fan of ROM hacks, man. I got a ton of unique hacks on my Xbox because I'm playing. I'm using RetroArch on my Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series S. First thing I do when I get my Series S, downloads RetroArch and puts retro games on this console. <laughs> Corso saw, f saw fit to give me shit, but he got no lead switch. You want to know what he did? He played Mario Kart on the SNES ro on the SNES app <laughs> instead of playing uh, Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. So yeah, we kind of done the same thing. From like I was for it, it, the Mario ca cartoon series that used that used to be on. Oh, the Mario, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, man, that was awesome. Even the Super Mario World series was good. Like my childhood was like a lot of the time I played Mario. I, I was just like I was sucked in from playing the first Mario Brothers. Like my friend close friend of mine who I've been friends with for over 30 years lives across the road from me tried to talk to me as a kid because we've known each other for that long she's like John J hey Johnny I'm like can't talk Mario that's all uh, that's pretty much what I did and who would have thunk it like 30 plus years on I'm streaming games and entertaining people worldwide but Mario is not the only thing I play, though. I play I play all sorts of things, man. I play I play a range of different things. I play like Mario games. I play Zelda. Pokemon is also a, a favorite of mine to, of mine to play. Playing through uh, Pokemon Brilliant. Uh, not Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm streaming Shining Pearl. I've got a uh, brilliant diamond that I'm playing off camera. And uh, I'm about to go take on the Pokemon League on uh, Shining Pearl, which I'm going to be doing tomorrow on stream. Because I've got a full shiny team. Ryan! Long time no see, buddy. How you doing, man? He's from Sydney. We got a plethora of Aussies. We got a Aussie from Radelaide, and an Aussie from Sydney, an Aussie from Dolby, and a Aussie, Aussie from Melbourne, and uh, you know Aussies here, there, and everywhere. My three hardcore demographics are Aussies, UK people, and Americans. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, Ryan. It's good to see you, man. How was your holidays, dude? How was Christmas? Did you get everything you wanted for Christmas? I hope you did. You'll be an iffy person. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna be an if switch local. Ah. Oh. Ryan, do yourself a favor and move to Dolby. If switch is a shithole. I would say don't talk about the ashes, there was nothing to talk about. Um, I really don't talk about the cricket all that much. I'm, I don't even know how the ashes went this year, uh, Frank. I'm, I've been out of the loop with uh, the cricket scene for a couple of years now, man. I was, I pretty much, like, kind of got out of the cricket scene after Steve's, the Steve's, uh, Steve Smith and Dave Warner got themselves in, into a mischief over ball tampering. So that's how long I've been out of, out of the loop. But the mate, I do, don't get me wrong, I love my cricket. I just haven't watched it in, like, forever, man. Like, I wanted to watch the T20 World Cup this, this year, but I 
it was either the it was either the it was either the T20 World Cup or the IPL that I wanted to watch, and I couldn't because I couldn't get it on my t I couldn't get it on t on my TV. Oh my God, Aussie clean the the Aussies clean sweeped England this year. Holy shit! That is nuts, man. Due to be a 5-0 whitewash. Oh my god. Australia must have gotten better over the last couple of years. Not that I'm slamming my own country, but you know. Obviously I must have improved. I'm getting I'm gonna cheat and just I had to say. Screw doing the level the conventional way, we're just gonna cheat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hashtag first try! There's a few newbies uh, who are doing well. Oh, that's cool. As in, like, batting or bowling? Because War War Warner's still on the team, isn't he? I can't jump on this shit. No, we haven't got a team. <laughs> oh god, you don't have a team? Or are they just really that bad? Let's uh, change it up. What am I going to play? What am I going to play? Let's uh, try the Essence Star. Let's showcase this for a bit. I've only watched like half an hour of the day they finished really early. Wow. That's nuts. Pokemon 64 on there. On the uh, Switch app, you mean? Uh, what do you mean? Because I got Pokemon Stadium in the Nintendo 64 folder. Not to mention, I got Goldeneye. I've got, I've got like Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. I've got Goldeneye, Conker's Bad Fur Day. have I got on that? Uh, I've got Turok 1, 2, and 3. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What? No! What the hell is this? Oh, my God. Why is there a peach in the item window? What the hell is this? Oh, my God. What the hell? Oh yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got Stadium, dude. Uh, it's not on the Switch app yet. Um, I'm hoping it'll be, I'm hoping it'll come to the uh, Switch app, maybe March or April, because I know uh, Paper Mario has already made its way onto the app. Uh, what else are we looking for? Okay, what the hell? I shoot things and they turn into stars. What the hell is this? This is hardcore. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh, collect the coins. Collect the coins. Collect the coins. What the hell is this? Golden eyes of the dogs danglies. I know, right? Golden eyes the shit. Oh my god, I'm collecting even more lives, look at this! Oh my god, dude. That is nuts. 
Man, Goldeneye was a big part of my teenagehood. I played the shit out of Goldeneye, man. Even today, Goldeneye is still legendary. Conker's Bad Fur Day was always good for comic relief, man. used to do to my younger brother just to get on his nerves I used to play I used to play his odd job I used to give myself at the side of the banjo and he would have to crouch he would literally have to stand he would literally have he would literally have to stand still and either crouch to shoot me or literally manually aim to shoot me Came in, that came in handy in golden gun mode. You're 33, Ryan. So me and you're around at the same age. Yeah, you're. I'm. I'm 35, Ryan. I turn 36 in a couple of months. I turn 36 in February. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. That's bullshit. Uh, Frank's 34. Wow. That's awesome, dude. do you do you play frank like do you have any other consoles like uh do you have a switch xbox playstation you turn 34 in october hey in february is my birthday i'm looking forward to my birthday next year <laughs> i'll be one year closer to 40 that's the only downside <laughs> Just, that's horrible. I don't even know what happened there. That was just terrible. No, let's go again. Don't get what the go with that was. That was just weird. Everybody did that, dude. <laughs> you have an Xbox and I'm crap at it. Mainly FIFA, racing games, Resident Evil, and Lego games. I'll show you what I've got on my Xbox. So right now, all I've got is, besides RetroArch... Besides RetroArch and AM2R, which is a PC thing, PC fan gave us Metroid 2, I've got RetroArch with all the ROMs and, and, and emulation. I've got Blue Dragon and Lost Odyssey, two of my favorite role-playing games on the Xbox 360. I've got Gears Tactics. Uh, I've, I've got like Gears 1 Ultimate, Gears 5 with all the DLC, including Hive Busters and uh, Gears Tactics. I aim to get Gears of War 2, 3, and 4 on here as well. But I got to spend about approximately $370 on a memory expansion for my Xbox. So I can have, so I've got 
so I can get an extra terabyte of space. But that's that's one of my big plans for next year. I'm going to be streaming, uh, going to be streaming Gears of War series from like one through to five in order. Because mo most shooters I suck at, but Gears of War I'm actually quite good at because it's like third per third person over the shoulder. And I can actually focus better playing those sorts. Oh, come on, stop eating shit. And I also plan on streaming Elden Ring when it comes out at the end of February. So I'm a huge Souls fan. Dark Souls is another series, not another, another game series I happen to be very talented at. I'm known the world over for my ability to play Dark Souls. Run, Mario, run! You got an OLED Switch? Hey, Ryan, I have an OLED Switch too. <laughs> I'll be playing Pokemon Shining Pearl tomorrow on stream. I'll be uh, attempting to beat the Elite Four. I got a, f I got a shiny team. I got my, every Pokemon on my Diamond Pearl, my Diamond team is shiny. So I got lucky and traded with some friends. You can't destroy turn blocks, no shit. So tired, it's been a hard day. So, uh, Ryan, what do you think of the OLED switch, dude? I now have three switches again. Because I scored a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee switch. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee switch. That's good, man. I, I enjoy it too. I like the fact that I've got my I've got my internet uh, hardwired into the inbuilt Ethernet port. Plus, you know, the 64 gig internal memory uh, is a, a welcome addition, so I can store more shit. Not only that, you know, um, I, uh, the graphics are, are, are crisper. And, every, and uh, Metroid Dread runs at a nice smooth 60 frames per second. You put your screen protector on your switch light, a freaking massive air bubble, you can't get it out. Damn. You need, you need to dig out your Switch, Frank. I'm one man and I own three Nint I own three Switches. How do I do it? I don't know. <laughs> it, it was a goal of mine to get the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Switch. And I was, uh, that, w that dream was made a reality, courtesy of a, cl of a close personal friend. So what do you play on Switch, Frank? Monty, Monty Mole's my hated enemies in the Mario, Mario games. 
Get out of here, Monty Mole. I hate you. Get out. Also help me get your uh, switch a little bit cheaper. How? Pokemon something? That Pikachu switch is super pretty. I know, right? So, do you have Pokemon Sword? Do you have Pokemon Let's Go, Frank, or is it Pokemon Sword and Shield? I'm actually planning a multiplayer stream in the very near future for people who who play Sword and Shield. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like, it's, I'm gonna, I'm planning like an invitational where people can battle me just for fun. Or if people want to trade, they can trade with me. Sam, you got me. Oh my god. You got both Diamond and Pearl remasters, both Sword and Shield. Same here, Ryan. I have them all. I got them all too. I even have uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Sam, you got me good. Oh my god. I was so not expecting that. <laughs> oh my god. You're lucky I got my shitting pants on. Jesus. No! <laughs> Sam, you're evil. You're evil, Sam. I'm gonna get you one of these days. I'm gonna get you. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I'll figure out a way to get you. Because the last thing I do before I die is I'm going to get you back for any sort of jump scare that you generate. Stop running into Goombas, dipshit! <laughs> Whoops. Oh, come on. I'm, I, I thought I was better than this. But no, it turns out that I'm not. Need to, learn, need to play better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Frank got me too, shit. Too bad the star power up can't save you from gravity, I know, right? Ah! Just testing. I got twice in like... Can we see Sam do a stream? Uh, I don't know. That is solely up to her and the fairy godfathers. That's all I'm gonna say, it's up to her and the fairy godfathers. Let's see. Let's run this again. Let's see if I can actually get further than the second level. But here's the catch 22, Ryan. Sam lives in Victoria! She lives miles away from me! If Sam ever came up this way to Queensland, I would have to get her on camera. If she ever came to my house, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get you on camera. I'm going to stream, and you're going to be on as a co-host. And here I am, running in the shit. Dark Souls player plays Mario Hacks. Are you serious? Are you serious? Let's uh, reactivate this. 
Your neighbor has a streaming setup. I don't have the whoops command, Ryan. Joke's on you, buddy. If you want to laugh at me, you can type in exclamation point funny. I do something like amazing, like get through a level after X amount of attempts. Feel free to type exclamation point victory in the chat. Same one, disabled the brownie uh, command for now. I want, I, I'm, I'm so curious to what one gets me in trouble. I was kind of, I was kind of reserved in regards to turning back on the Nox bot, but I was like, you know, screw it. Got no spin jump. That's gay. I got no spin jump. I only go to Corso stream for the command. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough, dude. <laughs> I go in to give him shit because I can't. And I have better internet than he does. Dolby internet is better than Radelaide internet. Victory is mine! victory may have got me in trouble but in all fairness I'm using it within fair use so they can suck my balls Everybody, I got through the f first and second level on the first try. Somehow I just managed to turn good. But it's all probably gonna de get derailed from here. <laughs> I'm gonna like speak too soon and just get messed up and shit. That's probably what's gonna happen. Can you jump on his head? Thank you. Let's try, bucko. Nope! Why did I pick that up for? Marcus, how you doing, dude? Welcome in. It's good to see you, buddy. Here's your holidays, man. After multiple tries. <laughs> yeah. I gotta stop sucking at this game. That's what I gotta stop. That's what I gotta do, man. I gotta stop sucking at this game. You little. Fuck you. He thought it was fu a fun idea to kick a shell on my face. Jonathan, how are you doing, dude? It's good to see you. Are you new here? If you are, like and share the stream and uh, exclamation point notify in chat. If you will, sir. That's how we get. That's how we grow big as a community. 
even though I'm just some crazy Aussie who plays hacked Mario, uh, uh, Mario ROM hacks on his Xbox. Well, that's what, that's what I am tonight. I'm the Aussie who plays, uh, ROM hacks on his Xbox. Because I'm cool. I'm that cool kid who knows how, the tech know how to mod an Xbox Series S. <laughs> and I fucked up. Corso is in lurk mode. I know he's always in lurk mode. He's probably got me turned down now because he can hear me properly with my new microphone. I don't mind sitting this, clo clo this close to the microphone if I have to. It's only like a temporary solution until I can like afford a better quality like big time microphone with like the one of them uh, condenser things in, that sit in front of it. No, I fell for that shit twice. I gotta start my day. See you real soon, mate. Have a great new year, and as you guys always get it first. No worries, dude. You have a good one. I look forward to seeing you again soon, Frank. You have a good day. To be honest, I haven't been feeling all that well the last couple of days. I think I've been getting better. I went to the hospital around this time yesterday. They couldn't really find anything wrong. Man, hope you hopefully you're okay, Marcus. Jonathan's giving me a triple G for failing. Am I ever going to get this right? I don't know. for that shit. No way. Oh, I must be getting smarter. <laughs> Get up there, you bastard. I wish OBS would stop freaking out at me like that. It's starting to get annoying. It's like I need an update or some shit. Oh. Jesus. We got one level further than the than the last attempt. We'll try this again. We'll see if we can get further. Plus, I've been streaming for over three hours. Eh? Oh my god. Stream for a little while longer. I'll stream it up to uh, three, three thirty, and then I'll like call it a stream. I'm gonna be on tomorrow with uh, Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl version. I'm gonna try and beat the Elite Four with my shiny team. Definitely look forward to uh, showcasing my shiny team to everybody. Got some, did some sick trades. Uh, one I got myself. I actually got a Gligar on, on the other game, and I tra it was shiny. It was the second shiny I've gotten on uh, on uh, Pearl and Diamond. First shiny was a Bidoof that I named God. <laughs> Three X, eh? Right, eh? Yeah, uh, Marcus, this is a ROM hack. This is a ROM hack of uh, Super Mario World, but it's called Super Mario Bros. 3X. I got a bunch of ROM hacks on my Xbox Series S, dude, that I, uh, after installing RetroArch. Got a bunch of really cool hacks that I chucked on my Xbox because I want to play through them all and just showcase them. I want to be that cool streamer kid on the block who has them really cool Mario games. Ah! Uh, that turtle sucks. It's 
Since no brownies, I'll have to put in for dessert, please. Sam, I don't have any star screens on this uh, new overlay yet, but I'll be staying up tonight to put in some star screens. And uh, I've got some news for you, Sam. I'm going to put in, I may put in your uh, meat grinder uh, video for a star screen again. But thank you for the 25 stars, Sam. I appreciate that very much. Um, I don't have any star screens on this overlay set yet. All I've got is the welcome screen, the disclaimer, the outro screen, which still needs a bit of work, and the main overlay for games and uh, main overlay for retro. You haven't seen much, but it's, it already seems better than standard Super Mario Bros. 3. It, this game's amazing, dude. This game is amazing. I... I actually, I actually want to get good enough for this game so I can beat it. So I've watched, I've watched like maybe one or other two, other two other people play it, but I've never seen this game get beaten. I'll live in a lot time out to uh, practice this one, because this game is great from what I've played of it so far. I just want to beat it. I want to be able to beat this game. Watching you is putting it up. Ooh. <laughs> Appreciate that, Sam. You're such, you, you're, you're too good to me. I try to keep it entertaining. I try to. I'm, I'm trying to be entertaining. Sorry, Metro. Last week's Metro Dread streams were fun. like the Super Mario 3.5 or the 4 we never got. I know, right? And I haven't even lost a single life yet. Yeet, deed, I deed. Indeed, or deed, yeah. No, what else I got on here, Marcus? I got a uh, ROM hack, Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM hack of Super Mario All Stars, which has all four Super Mario games on the one on the one game, which is pretty cool. So you can play Mario One, Two, and Two, Three, and Lost Levels, and set up like a NES version of Mario All Stars. Oh come on! What the hell was that, dude? That was a load of shit! That was bullcrap. That's all I'm gonna say that right there, that was bullcrap. It's like the game's trying to screw me over. Not today, champ. Oh my god, I thought I was screwed. I thought I was D-E-D -E -D dead, but it turns out I wasn't. And look at this everybody, Sir Dash is, is uh, sort of getting better at the game. He hasn't even died yet, look at him go. He's like the literal Mario Commander right now. Except for those poison shrooms, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. Except for the poison shrooms. That's cool. This is cool. I haven't got an extra life, man. I'm go I'm rolling. Get out of here. Get out of here. Poison mushroom with, with filth. With, with the COVID.
blow you up with the bomb. It's bombing deer. screwed that up. I was on a real hot streak too. We got this man. We're gonna get this. We're, we'll get this one way or the other. Don't you dare. Mario, you've got one job. Your one job is to win. Your one job is to win, not be a loser. Your one job is to win, good sir. Look at that dumb plumber from Brooklyn. God, that, how does that even work, man? That is the most peculiar physic of all time. We're not chancing it. We're not chancing it again. Oh my god, I almost, I almost fell for it. almost fell for it. I was damn near fucked up. Not cool. Whee! No, we gotta go this way. Sora performing better this time around. Can we do it? Can we do it? Hoping I can. Oh my god, mental note. Don't be on the donut when it falls on the enemy's heads. That's that's pretty much either a death or a shrink. That's like as Corso would say, it's shrinkage. It's unwar unwarranted shrinkage. You asshole. Now I'm starting to screw up again. Why? <laughs> Why? Don't be on the donut. I will, I will do my best not to be on the donut. Those, those, those are goddamn donuts, man. Those donuts are be, be, be pricks. Those donuts be pricks.
And uh, how's Jennifer doing, Marcus? Jennifer, if you're in the room, hello. Hope you had a wonderful holiday. As we get more consistent on making uh, making progress. Get up in the pipe. <laughs> Jesus. So this this particular overlay screen on the new overlay on the uh, new uh, series of overlay for the overlay set is for the retro is for retro watch. She's asleep. Oh, that's cool. No, me, man. Always being friendly and always just wanting to say hi. Okay, what the hell is this? Okay, I just stopped there for a second. Almost messed up. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Give me that free life. Now that is cool. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Nailed it. Nailed it. We're still going good. We're still going solid. I thought I would have had the game over by three and a half hours. Nope, out of that. It was a trick. I know. I know. I know, Marcus. I definitely lucked out. Sometimes I get lucky, other times I don't. No. Oh wow. Look at them creepy bats, man. Holy bejesus, Batman! <laughs> uh, nope, I, I don't think I will. <laughs> Me that I don't blame you for that one bit, dude. At this point, I'm just tempted to use all the buzzy beetles to get rid of the piranha plants. On, on the uh, bat's head. Just gonna take, take my time. Just relax and chill. Yeah. Bit, I'm gonna get the P-switch at the end of the level and I'll have to go back, all the way back to the start. Oh, hell no. Oh my god. It's telling me I have to go all the way back to the start. I had a feeling that this would, would be the case. So I'm gonna have to be super careful here. <laughs> oh no. 
crazy the streaming platform has closed captions that interpret what you say. Sometimes it inter interprets them very oddly. I know, right? It's very rare though I've seen my own in, uh, messed up uh, interpretations. If you find anything funny within the uh, how they interpret what I say, I'll be curious on how they interpret some of the shit that comes out of my mouth. I know it's like a no-no for them to uh, have the subtitles with uh, e expletives that come out of, out of one's mouth. If I get a mushroom, I'm going to try and keep it for as long as humanly possible. Upa, Jesus, Batman. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. Upa, Jesus, Batman. Yeah, it stars you swear words. Yeah, I, I know that. I'm like, come on, Facebook. Everyone, everybody swears on the platform, even its creator. Even its creator, uh, Agent Zuckerberg, who occasionally suffers a metaphors. hack that the uh, spin the spin jump has been taken out the spin uh, jump mechanic has been taken out of the game just to keep it sort of authentic semi-authentic as like a semi uh, authentic mario experience I jumped on his head, look at that. Let's go. Gotta love how it respawns all the enemies. Not that I care, I can pretty much just go back the way I came and hopefully avoid everything. So I pretty much got the, like... I understand how the level works. Drop it here. No. Oh my god. Should I just throw? I think I should just throw it. I think I should just throw the P switch and deal with the uh, Buzzy Beetles first. I think that's what I have to do. Because that, that, that is a, that's a weird mechanic. You can't jump on an enemy while you're holding an item because it will just flat out hurt you or kill you. God. I got boned by that, uh, by that, uh, Buzzy Beetle shell. Okay, why was I able to jump on the Goomba? 
Oh cool, I can get the power up again. That I didn't know uh, from the last attempt. But now I know. Finally got out of there. So ripped me off, dude. Got so far. Only to get ripped off. Why do you do this to me? We'll get through. We'll get through in one piece, hopefully. What would be cool is if I could keep the power up to, uh, Keep the power up and then get a uh, fire flower to stack, and I should be I should be golden for a little for 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 hopefully the rest of the level. But uh, I've, I have to give credit where it's due with the level design. The level design on the world map is what drew me to this hack in the first place. I tried so <laughs> you metroidvania that shit <laughs> I know right of course ah oh, fuck you fire fire uh fire batty you suck I totally metroidvania that shit dude that was that was that was, that was probably the most that's probably the most impressive thing I've done in done in December so that's Metroidvania to Mario sequence, and I'm and I'm still I'm still going strong. So you're on looks cool uh ball this is my new overlay uh test thing you know doing a new overlay set and i'm playing i'm playing mario hacks on my xbox series s like badass appreciate you coming through dude you're just getting ready you you work you're just getting ready for work man dude it's like 8 30 at night here just enjoy I'm enjoying some games and showcasing some ROM hacks that I got that are very unique. Not many people would have seen these. I certain somebody's like, oh well if you got cool ROM hacks, John, how about you uh, how about you uh, send them my way? I'm like Seriously bro, you want me to send you uh, stuff that I want wanna keep unique for my channel? No. Nah.
8.39 p.m. Yeah, it's 8.39 p... 8.35 p.m. When, uh, Thursday night, dude. It is, uh, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Man, I can't wait for the new year to, uh, pretty much turn itself in. I think I might do, like, I might practice this game a lot more and turn it into a stream series, because this game, th this, uh, ROM hack's pretty good. I, I, I definitely could play a lot of, I play this, play a lot of this. As I said, I want to, I've never seen this game finished, so I'd like to actually get the game finished at some stage. So how you doing, Paul? In the end, it doesn't even matter. Lincoln Park, that shit. <laughs> no! I can't believe I messed that shit up. No! I like to put the clay. I like to have a cl make a bold claim that I have some of the coolest Mario ROM hacks on the planet. You know what? I might. I might. I might stay on a bit longer. And if anyone is, uh, by chance, no notice if uh, Corso is on. I should try and raid him. Actually, I don't think I could raid him with my main page. Because I still can't access uh, Cult Classic Gaming with this, with my main account. Gotta head off, I'll be back. No worries, dude. First two levels without losing losing a life, man. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Ernest, welcome in, dude. How you doing? Appreciate you coming through, dude. Good morning to you, sir. Know what I need to do? I need to like and shit. I need to like my own shit. I can't believe I haven't even liked my own stream. What is wrong with me? I haven't even hit my like. I haven't even hit the like button. What the fuck? <laughs> hit the like button, Sunash. You're telling everyone else to like and share, but you're not hitting the like and share button. What the hell is wrong with you? Get roasted. No. I'll go backwards. I probably can. Because guess what's over here? We have a chance for another for another fire flower. Lucky me. No such thing as stored power-ups on this game. The Super Mario Brothers 3 that we definitely deserved. Well the, the follow-up sequel. It anyway. Can you stop freezing? I didn't even hit the coins, I'm an idiot. Well that's silly from where I can, from where I'm sitting. I 
really should have thought ahead. I should have uh, went on my alternate Facebook account, which I've made a, also made an admin. So if I stream at these sort of times, I could potentially uh, give Corsa a raid. I still don't know. I still cannot get onto Cult Classic Gaming on my main account. I don't even know why either. It's weird. Fuck off, poison mushroom. No one likes you. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. No! Poison Shroomies, feck off! Yeah! I almost had that. That would have been the perfect run. But no. Games like, screw you. You're not winning. What part of you're not winning do you not understand, streamer? Jesus. If we would allow you to win, then everyone would want to win. You have to earn that shit, streamer. You gotta earn that shit. Earn your W's. That's what we do. We earn the W. We got the coins the first time around. We're, we're actually sort of proceeding better. Whee! No poison mushroom today, pal. Nope. Alright, let's see if we can make it this time. Thanks for the lurk. I can't believe I got to the end of that and totally stuffed it up. <laughs> no! If I'm being too loud, Jovi, feel free to say, Shut up, streamer, you're loud. <laughs> Marcus is also lurking. So close. I'm progressively getting better at this one. That's that's the takeaway. I'm actually getting better. I don't suck so much. Mm. 
I just got a Gibble and Dratini and Pedroni Diamond. Nice, dude. Uh, uh, what level are they? Did you find them in the underground by any chance? Did you find them in the grand under underground by any chance, Ryan? And uh, what level are they? Oh yeah, good thing this ain't uh, Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 3. Otherwise the fire flower you have would just made you grow and nothing else. I know, right? Get it this time, you watch. I still got four lives, so I'm in good shape. in the ground on the ground. Nice, dude. Awesome. But what are you going to run with, uh, Ryan? Are you going to run with... Are you gonna, if you had to choose one, if you had to... If you were going to run with Dragonite or Garchomp, what, are you, what would you run with? Because for me, it's Dragonite all the way because... Uh, as good as Garchomp is, Garchomp is overused, man. Garchomp is seriously overused. Dragonite, nice. Thank you for the 50 stars, Amanda. I appreciate it. Everyone's been on fire this evening. Everyone's been on fire today with the, str with the support. And I appreciate every single bit of it. gonna get better than my PB I, I swear if I don't then you know I've only got myself to blame amazing is if I got through this level and like in, on the first try. There we go. We can still jump on stuff, it just depends on the... I think it, I think it's dependent on the angle. Thank you. 
Oh, I like that duck animation. That, that was never ever really seen on the SNES version. That's a custom animation for the for that Mario sprite. Just got it. This is our PB. New personal best. Oh my god, that's crazy. I will I would willingly take that damage. And we got I think was that was that first try? For anyone who was watching, was that first try? Because if that's first try, man, I'm like, oh my god, I just got that through that on the first try. <laughs> Dragon Ryan says Dragon Up. Good answer. Good answer. Garchomp is overused. Garchomp is seriously overused. As good as he, as as good as it is, it is overused. It's classified as an overused. Okay. Win. It is. Um, nom nom nom. And it just don't stop. You farming for lava tart? Nice, dude. I guess you're a Tyranitar fan too. I'm a Tyranitar fan. From the first moment I saw it in like a Japanese magazine uh, that was sent to me by a friend, oh, I was like, "Man, this this Pokemon is legit." I had no idea that was there. That was just a random guess. Oh my God, Thwomps look f look. Really peculiar. You farming for the lava tar? Yeah, that. I think that's like a 30% uh, spawn chance, Ryan. Ah, how oh, no! No, 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 no! I wonder if I can get back into the. Oh, cool, I can go back in the earlier stages and get power-ups. Why, oh, why did I do that? I am silly. Right, let's just get back in the game. I will name your, you will name your Lavatar Reptar? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's get another power up and just go. There are no raccoon leaves here. I'm not I'm not even sure where they start, man. I'm not sure where they start. So hopefully, maybe wall two. I just want to get through this one in one piece. Oh my god, look at that. That was insane. Reshare. 
tower up, please. Thank you. Oh my god, what the hell? I don't even know what those blocks do. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, this shit is weird. No! These things are gonna kill me. Not cool. I don't wanna die. Okay. Oh my god. This is this is gonna be the tough bit. <laughs> yeah. What even the hell are these? The Mushroom Kingdom has been invaded by aliens. I have no idea. I know they were in Yoshi's Island, dude. If you ever played Yoshi's Island on, on the SNES, those enemies debuted on the SNES version of uh, the SNES. Yoshi couldn't even uh, eat those because they were spiky. Ah! No! Something tells me I need to farm lives. Because this is like the further, farthest I've gone. I don't want a game over. Random shy guy, I know, right? So dry bones is pretty cool, yeah. Oh, I agree, man. Considering the original uh, design for dry bones was reused in, like, I think one of the, uh, yeah, I think it was in the uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time game, it was reused. Like the original concept art was reused. If I can get a shell and throw it at the thwomp, at that particular thwomp, if I can, that'll be pretty cool. No, 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 no. 
my god, this is gonna suck. I can't believe this ain't butter. Oh my god. I need to get that, uh... Need to get across there. Again. Oh! Look at me go! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be nasty. Oh, what is it the dry bones is from? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's from, dude. I learned that at a random Mario video I watched the other night. And this is ingenious level design right here. This shit's ingenious, dude. I love it. Whoa. I can't even hit those bricks. Oh my god, that is nuts! How am I supposed to get through that part? That is, that is bonkers, man. Most bizarre, man. <sighs> wow. This level is literally demanding me to play at my absolute best from the get go. This is like the first. Like, oh my god, dude. This is nuts. Won't settle any, any, any better for any less. And near perfection. Those uh, thwomp, those little thwomp jumps, man, they're just demanding. I'm actually showcasing a little bit of skill. I'm surprised. Now, if I can make it all the way. That would be really cool if I can make it all the way to and fro and all the way back. I'll be super happy. That would be like an that will be like a new PB almost. That would almost be good as a new PB. But these little fuckers. They make it hard, dude. They make it really hard. So let me get down here. Turn that off. Ah, uh, no. Oh my god, that's not even perfect. I gotta be perfect now. I can't take that hit. I can't even afford to take a hit here because, you know, lava. Lava and shit, you know. I keep going that way thinking that there will be a P switch, but it's over this way. You gotta remember it's over this way. Oh! oh my god, man. That is just, that's brutal. That's brutal. But come 2022, when I'm doing like a series of ROM hacks, 
of playing through like from start to finish with ROM hacks on it over X amount of streams, this is definitely going to be high up there. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to call it a stream here. It's been just over, just, just over four hours. It's been like four hours, 15 minutes, give or take. So I appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out with me. I know I, I came on a lot later than expected, but I, uh, it was a lot of fun, man. Got a lot of likes and shares. Hell, I even got a stars party, which was fully completed. That was pretty sick. And, uh, showcase some uh, cool ROM hacks for you guys that I'm going to play through next year at some point. Like, uh, I'm going to be using the Xbox as a for, as a medium for playing the retro ROM hacks and all the cool stuff. And uh, I'm going to be also got other plans like Gears 1 to 5, Lost Odyssey, and uh, Blue Dragon also in the RPG list as well because I'm going to do some RPGs next year. And uh, you know, everyone who came in, liked, shared, and all the new followers, I appreciate it all. Everyone who sent stars, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I would be up tonight uh, putting together some star screens that I'll have on the new overlay because you know, this overlay is pretty sick. It's pretty sick looking. I got a new, the, I got some new Matrix code. I got the retro screen looking all nice and everything. And it's all because of you guys. All the likes, shares, and stars. It's all this is possible because of everyone here. So, with that being said, I'm gonna, I'll see who's on and see if I can send you guys anywhere, send you somewhere else. But with, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm an aged. I'm a learned kind of individual. I'm going to give you guys a bit of advice that I give you all the time. Just remember, it's important to care about others, but just as important, if not more important, so to care about yourself. You know, we only live life once. Make the most of it. When opportunity knocks, make the most of it because you never know when you're going to get another knock. Uh, get opportunities. You can't, they don't come every day. And uh, be good to everybody. Treat everyone how you wish to be treated every day. Just strive to be a better person. Just strive to do better, even if it's a little bit each day. And, uh, you know, don't sweat over the small stuff. Don't stress over the trivial stuff. And don't let negativity have any rental space in your head. Because life is to be enjoyed, not to be miserable. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll have, uh, some, I'll have some star screens up. I'll have a proper outro for this. And uh, I'll be playing Pokemon Shining Pearl uh, live at the usual time on Game of Vision. So enjoy your night, guys, or enjoy your day if you're in the US. And I'll be wishing you all Happy New Year.